Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Tosh Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome to the show for the very first time, Alton Bowman Cunningham, the Bowman rather, 25 years old, 5-1, and one, has a big fight coming up October 20th at Pure FC 10 against Victor Jones. What's going on, man? Hey, man, how's it going, man? Things are going good for me. Yeah, they are, man. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, for, for folks that don't know you, Alton, you are a, uh, you're one of the, the best middleweight contenders out there. You were featured on the uh, the most recent season of Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. You had a rough go. You, you fought Bevan Lewis, who I believe is a, uh, he is a phenomenal talent. Um, and, uh, you know, just a minor setback in, in your road, but I think that you're one of the very best up-and-comers out there. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, that was... Uh... That was a pretty pretty rough fight with uh, Bavon. Um, you know, I'm not gonna make any excuse, chalk up any excuses about it. You know, I just didn't, I didn't show up. You know what I mean? I, 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 I blew it on the big stage. You know, I, I you know, I kind of froze up on under, under the bright lights, and Bavon was in the zone. You know, and that's something that you know, with me growing up and maturing up, and not only in my career but just in life, that's something that I'm. You know, I'm learning. Everything, everything felt like a blur in there. You know what I mean? And it, that's one thing. I, I, I don't think I took. I really took in that moment. You know what I mean? So next, next time, that make no mistake about it. It, it, it won't. It, it won't happen again. For sure, and it's fair to point out too that this was uh, Bavon's. This was his second go at it. And, uh, you know, you're only 25 years old, man. That was a big moment for you. And, uh, you know, it might sound cliche, but I really believe in this sport, there really isn't any losses, you know, only learning experiences. And it's really about how you come back. And you got a chance to do this in a big way in just about uh, three weeks' time here against uh, Victor Jones, man. What do you know about Victor? I really don't, I really don't know too much about him. Um, so I'm fighting on, I'm fighting on PRC Milwaukee. Um, and uh, when my coach came to me with the matchup, I was just like, you know, I I just want I, the biggest thing with me was more of a uh, more more of um just just getting back into the win column really. And um, this fight right here is at 205, so it's not even at middleweight; it's at 205. And that was something that we've been talking about for a while with the 205 pound move. So this fight uh, with Victor, this is more of uh more of going in there showing out some showing some new tricks, some new things that I've been working on. And um, really to get a feel for 205 before I get back on the big stage and see, I'm um, go against and get, and get and go against some of the best other best prospects in the world. And that's where I belong. For sure. Now, uh, you know, obviously, it, you know, things are still up in the air between middleweight and light heavyweight. But depending on your performances, is light heavyweight that might be an option for you going forward? Man, I, I think right. I, I I see me fighting at both weight classes. Middleweight, middleweight is it's hard. It's hard for me. So I, I think you can agree with this. A lot of fighters they lose fights and they think that switching weight class is one of the best. It's probably the best move for them, just to revamp their career. And I'll be the first to say the move to 205 for me was actually something that's been discussed before the Bavar Lewis fight. That was probably something you know I won that fight. I would I would have tested out at 205 as well if the UFC would allow me to. But um, I. I I'm I'm not gonna leave 185, man. Especially after make no make no mistake about it. Me and Bavon Lewis will meet again, and that's I'm not gonna leave that weight class because that's one. I'm not gonna say I'm chasing him, but that's where he's at. And if our paths align, make no mistake about it, I'm gonna capitalize on that opportunity to get that rematch. And that's just that's more of a, of a competitive aspect. No, no crap talking here about the guy. The guy is a freaking stud, and you know what I mean. I, I have nothing but respect for him. He made. I, like you said, with, there's really no losing fights in this in this sport. I really, I'd be lying to you if I said I'm I'm a completely better fighter now than I was going into that fight. And who knows if I would be this fighter that I am now with a win? You know what I mean? Like I'm mentally, I'm I'm just on, I'm on another level mentally, and that's what I was missing. You know, and let's see, that's the thing. That's the thing with a lot of these fighters, man. They 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 hop into a camp. 
they hop into a camp and they're, it's not even a lifestyle for them. So they take they take time off, maybe spend time with the family, whatever. You got that. You need that. You need that to balance, and especially being fighters and being doing the savage stuff that we do, you gotta have that balance. But I'd be lying if I said that if you're if you're a fighter and you're taking time time off, you're a step behind me and you're a step behind some of the greatest fighters in the world. Like look look at look look at Aaron Pico. Like that kid's gonna be a world champion. Like that kid doesn't take time off. He's been training nonstop since he was what eleven. Kid's 10. amazing, yeah. You know what I mean? Like and look at look at TJ Dillashaw. Look at some of these best fighters in the world and what are they doing? Conor McGregor. You know what I mean? Like freaking Khabib. Like look at these guys. Like they they don't take time. They don't take time off. They're in the gym. They're in the gym, and that's one thing that I'm I'm really really realizing is just that this is a lifestyle. There's no there's no messing around in this because this opportunity I've been, I've fought for four years, but this opportunity can get taken away from me tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like I can look at it like yeah I can fight till I'm forty, but one thing I realize is like, well, what happens if I got to stop at thirty? What happens if I got to stop at 28? Yeah. Now it's more of just cherishing, cherishing the moment every day, cherishing the moment, cherishing the opportunity to be able to step into the cage and do what I love to do. You know what I mean? And you know, um, I know I got up a little, a little bit off topic right there, but uh, going back to that, going back to the topic. No, I'm not going to be done. I'm not done with middleweight. I think uh, for sure I'll be, I'll be returning back to, back to middleweight for sure. How is training been, man? Are you still you still working at Pura Vida with Zach Otto and all those guys? I'm there. I'm there every day. Awesome. There every day. That's that's my private. That's my home gym now. At the time, um, getting ready for the Bavon fight, I was splitting time there, and at my old gym, Perfect Moves Martial Arts in Madison. And um, after this fight, it was just it was made the best. It was it was a decision that I need to be at Pura Vida full time, and I've been just reaping the benefits of it. Yeah, that they have a, they have one of the best camps in the Midwest, man. I I really love what they're doing there, um, man. I wanted to ask you, man, uh, the Bow Man. How, how did you get the nickname? <laughs> it came at uh, high school. It's uh, it's weird, man, because uh, I was I was a class clown, man. I was a class <laughs> clown, and uh, it was in it was Spanish class. It's Spanish class, and we had a substitute teacher, typical substitute. Old. Her name was Miss Miller, uh, and she was just asking everybody their name, and I told them that. My name is Marvin the Bowman Beaster. And she, she was like, "Is that really his name?" <laughs> and she called me the Bo, she called me the Bowman all class, and you know that. So it kind of it kind of stuck with me like a cult, you know what I mean? And now it has like a mystique to it. You know, I, I transferred over to to uh, to um, to be my nickname for being uh, and fighting. And you know, I like to use this phrase called "What's a beast to a bow?" And for me, it's just like I'm just on another level. You know, you might be a beast, but I'm a, I'm a bow. You know, I'm just always gonna be that step. Step step over you, you know. What I mean, I'm always gonna have that edge, That's and it's living crazy. that. It's man, it's living that too, man. It's living that too. Being like I said, being in the gym, continue to grind, just living that lifestyle. Yeah, for sure, man. That's that is what it's about. I mean, you're you're right. You hit the nail on the head. All the best. They they live it. They don't take days off, man. And I believe, uh, you know, I believe at 25 years old, I believe you're cut from that same cloth, man. I, I truly do. Hey. I uh, I always like to give you guys a few minutes here. Shout out your coaches, sponsors, whatever you'd like, man. The floor is yours. I'd like to give a shout out to my coaches at Pura Vida, Jake Clip, Zach Otto, Solo Acosta, Nick Tross, Ben Tomes. You know, those guys are making a beast out of me right now. Shout out to my Speed of Sport coach, Nick Belegas. Started the Speed of Sport program, and I'm just reaping the benefits of that. Um, give a shout out to some of my sponsors 608 Motorsports, Carbon World Health, Barnes Street Service, LLC. Pinecone Restaurant. Um, who am I missing? I got so many sponsors, man. I'll be forgetting. Uh, the, the, the Iron Coil, Iron Coil Tattoo. And that's yeah, man. That's that's about it. For sure. Well, I appreciate your time, Alton, man. Uh, you had a big fight coming up here in just about three weeks at uh, Pure FC weeks. Ten. Yeah, it's uh, before you know it, man. It's going to be here. Then Halloween. Then the holidays. And man, time flies, <laughs> right? Thanks, babe, man. First, I, I'm, I'll do this anytime you need me to, man. This is always, I'm always I'm forever grateful for this. Thank you. No, oh, I appreciate it, brother. Thanks again. Hey, man, you have a good day. You too.